So we're going to look today at two of the three types of linear equations. We've been using one of them already. You all know it as y equals mx plus b. And this is known by its name slope intercept form. That is typically the first linear equation that people encounter in math. We start using it really in seventh grade. And as you all know, the M stands for the slope. The plus B is the intercept on the Y intercept. And when you graph that line, you get a straight line. It is a linear equation. The second form that we're going to look at is called standard form. And its form is AX plus BY equals C. And at first glance, those equations don't look like they match, but they do. This X and this X are the same. This Y and this y are the same. This b and this c are the same in the sense that they are both constants. They are a number not connected to a variable. And when we move things around in the equation, they are related to each other in their different forms. Hopefully that'll make more sense as we continue. This M is also a constant. It is some number that can be a whole number, a negative or a positive number, or it can be a fraction or is sometimes a decimal. This A connected to the X and this B connected to the Y are related to the M. When we move things around, they end up shifting into the place of the M. And you'll hopefully see that as we start working with an example here. So I am going to start with an example of a problem that is similar to something if you did the uh, linear equations vocabulary yesterday, you may have seen something like this on the quiz. I'm going to use different coefficients and a different constant. But this is a problem in standard form. Use a slightly different highlighter just to show. This is my 6x is my ax, where 6 is the a and x is the x. 3y is the same as the by. The b in my example problem is the coefficient 3. Here is my constant. And here is my constant. If you'll notice, they're also in the same place. AX, BY, C. AX, BY, C. Now, if I want to turn that into slope intercept form, which as you all know from our experience recently, slope intercept form is a really simple way to to graph a line because we can put the B on at the Y intercept. We can use slope to find another point and draw our line. So sometimes turning standard form into slope intercept form can be really helpful when we're graphing. In order to do that, we need to get comfortable changing from one form to the other. So if I'm gonna change this equation to this form, I need to get the Y by itself. So my first step is going to be to move the x term to the other side of the equation. Because in this equation, the ax is on the left side of the equal sign. And in this equation, the mx is on the right side of the equal sign. It's a positive 6x, so I'm going to subtract it. When we're moving things in equations from one side of the equal sign to the other, we use their inverse, so their opposite. 
6x minus 6x is 0. 3y is still here. Negative 6x plus 12. What I did here is I took this piece, which is the constant, and I moved it here. And the 6x got moved here. That's their place if you look at this equation up here. I can't combine them because they're not like terms. The 12 is a constant. It doesn't have a variable with it. And this negative 6x goes there. Now, again, my goal is to try to get that y by itself. And right now, the y is attached to a 3. It's attached to it with multiplication. So I'm going to divide it. But I, if I do something to one side of the equation, I have to do it to the other side. And that means I need to do it to every term. 3 divided by 3 gives us an invisible 1, leaving us with y. Negative 6x divided by 3 gives us negative 2x. And 12 divided by 3 gives us positive 4. So although they look different, the equation 6x plus 3y equals 12, and the equation y equals negative 2x plus 4 are equivalent linear equations, which means if I put these on a graph, they would make the same exact straight line. We are going to move from that into working on a Desmos. I left the link for you in Google Classroom. It's titled Different Forms of Linear Equations. I'm going to switch my screen over so we can take a look at the activity before I have you all start on it. Oh, great. I see lots of you already there. Just looking for Bassam, Joshua, Alex Z, Xavier, Esteban, Jonathan, Henry, and Mirabel. I'll put this link in the chat.